In this session on the Amersham Typhoon, we're going to look at how to perform digitization and densitometry with the Amersham Typhoon system. We're going to need these two brackets here. In one orientation, it says OD. So this is going to be for densitometry, because that will measure in optical density. The other way around is for digitization. So this is really just for gel documentation. In this instance, we're going to use it in this orientation for doing densitometry. So we'll have the OD facing up. When we look at the low fluorescent glass stage, we're going to place those brackets at either end with that OD facing uppermost. And now we're ready to move this stage into the instrument. In this case, we're going to work with a Kamasi stain gel. So you can place our gel here just to make it a little bit easier for us to work with it. And usually it helps to place a little bit of water onto the platen. In this case, we're going to work. It's better to work towards the middle, get a more uniform signal, and you don't get any feedback that you might get on the edges. We can assist ourselves here using this device here. We will get our gel, place that on top of that water patch. Don't forget to remove the container. Now we're going to take some tissue, lint-free tissue. We're going to suck up the excess liquid around the edge. This is going to serve to pull the gel flush with the glass. We should also avoid any chance for bubbles underneath the gel. You see there's no bubbles there. We then need to use this beige board, which you will see is called the OD plate. It has two handles which we're going to use to place this on top of our sample. And this could be a Kamasi or a silver stained gel. That's just going to sit in place like so. We're going to close the instrument. We'd have taken note of the orientation of where we placed the gel with the letters and the numbers. Then we close the lid. And now we can set up in the control software to capture our image. <laughs> 